Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are new, my name is Samantha. First of all, I want to say Happy New Year and I hope and wish all of you guys a very healthy and happy 2022 and years to come. Today's video is going to be what I got for Christmas and things that I got myself, um, also from Lululemon, Sephora, etc. So if you guys are interested, definitely stay tuned. I wanna start off with the bigger presents that I got. And the first one is a pair of boots from my boyfriend. And for winter time, I really only have um, like the suede Uggs and I don't really have any like winter boots, like waterproof whatsoever. So he got me these really beautiful Ugg boots. He was originally going to get me um, the typical like um, camel and black colored, but I really wanted something like totally bright and new. So I picked out these white Ugg boots and they are so pretty. It has the white fur on top and this kind of taupe beige color for the base and white all around, even on the laces. Um, the laces have some detail that is between the white and the taupe colored as well, but overall they look really nice. I'll show you guys what it looks like on me as well. And this is the other side, so. These are really comfortable and they look really nice on. I really wanted to wear more light colors in the new year. Um, I do have a black jacket though, so my overall outfit is like black jacket, black tights or jeans and black shoes. So I really wanted to avoid getting more black in those outfits. So my Uggs are brown already and I do have another pair of pink Uggs. So I really wanted my waterproof boots that I could be wearing a lot during the winter time to be a totally different color and that's why I wanted these white ones. So the next things that I got for myself is from Lululemon and this was at their outlet sale and if you guys are in the GTA I got these at Vaughn Mills. So I got this white tank top um, and it kind of has like the pleat at the back. It's pretty basic. I just wanted something to cover myself when I'm working out and just wearing a sports bra. And then the next thing I got, I believe, is called the Align Tank. So it's not just a sports bra, but it's kind of more like a longer tank top that's covering the sports bra. And I got a size 10. Um, I just like to have like not too tight, but also not too loose. So size 10 just hugs my body enough so that it's a little bit more comfortable. Um, I think eight would work, but then it would be a lot more of a high impact feeling versus kind of like a regular top. So I really love this color. It's this baby pink. And you guys are gonna see a little pattern in the next couple of things. So the next one is this beautiful pastel purple. It's showing up much lighter on camera, but it is the perfect like Easter purple color. And it's kind of high rise or mid rise and pretty basic, just a long um, tights to wear with. And I honestly got this as like an entire set. It's super summery, which is why it was on sale, but I honestly just really loved it and I can see myself wearing it all year round. Um, so the tank top that I got was on sale for $29, so that's the final price. And for the pink line tank, the final price was $39. And these lilac tights are final price $79, which is pretty expensive for tights still, but for Lululemon, and the material when these usually cost like over $98 plus depending on what style you get and finding it in the color that I love so much I honestly thought it was worth it and I'm not always buying gym clothes so I'd rather just get something really good and wear it until I feel like buying more and the next thing I got from myself is like a pair of Roxy sweatpants from like sports check um, but it's like this purple pink tie dye and it's literally the same colors as the ones that I got from Lululemon, which is perfect. This was on sale for $30 and I figured it would be something nice that I can lounge around in at home. And it just has all the colors that I like on it. So that was just something that I quickly grabbed. So the next thing that I have here is from my parents and also like a gift card that I got as well. So it's sort of like a gift from a couple people but it is probably the biggest purchase that I have in this video and it is my new macage jacket. I'm gonna take it out of this plastic bag and show you guys. So I'll show you guys um, a better video later, but this is what I got. This is the Trish, T-R-I-S-H model. 
and it has the black fur on the outside and the inside of the hood. And the difference um, in why I picked this one and the other ones is that this is more of like a thicker material to it, like more of the winter jacket and not so much of like that kind of puffer jacket that like makes really loud swooshing noises when you're walking. Um, so I thought that this was a lot more waterproof. So this one is the new one. I wouldn't say new new because it's been out for a while now, but this is with the newer, more modern updated Macage logo versus that really leathery piece. Um, and on the back, it also has this belt going across and it's just a little bit more, I think, mature and subtle versus the other ones. Um, I also got this in the black fur because although I do have my um, darker hair now, typically I do dye my hair lighter brown and in the past, I do have other macaj jackets with like the golden fur and it clashed so much. So I decided to get the black fur so that it's a little bit more subtle and when it comes to dyeing my hair later on in the future, it won't be like so many colors going on and I just thought that it would be nice and I don't know, just be a little bit more mature. So um, let me know if you guys want me to, but I am probably going to be doing a review slash first impressions and a try on for this. So I can also do a review because I have two other ones that I've had in the past, which is with like that golden kind of fur and more of like that puffer-ish material. Um, and I've had two of them, which is I think one of them is Akiva and the other one is kind of a similar one and a shorter one. Basically the shorter and the longer one. This one is the longer one and I got this in a size large. I will leave my measurements down below, but I really wanted something that I can like move around in and like, you know, um, just be more comfortable and not feel so like restricted, especially when you're wearing this jacket indoors. I am the kind of person that gets pretty frustrated when I'm in like a really hot jacket and that I'm super uncomfortable. So I think I'm definitely in between sizes, medium and large both work, but large, I have the options to wear something this thick because their website suggests that you just wear something very thin, like a long t-shirt and then a jacket itself. So yeah, this is um, by far the biggest present that I have gotten for this year and it is this Macaj jacket. Again, I will do a separate video of this and if you guys are interested also, let me know. So the next gifts that I will be sharing are from like friends, coworkers, etc. And I'm not gonna go through any names just because of privacy reasons and just because it's going to be a little bit hard to keep track of. So one of the first things I'm gonna share is this Frank Body In Your Dreams Sleep and Sleep Scrub and Soak. So I believe this is coffee grains and it is supposed to make you feel more relaxed and as an extra is an exfoliant so i'm excited to try this it feels like there's a lot of product in here that i can use at least five times if not more i think and i have never tried a frank body brand so if you guys have let me know in the comments below if it's good or if you have any other recommendations from their other product line and then of course i have some self-care stuff which is this gold honey mask which I am excited to try. I love sheet masks. Obviously I do prefer like the ones in the bottles where you can use at least five times before I'm um, throwing it away. But again, I also love sheet masks because you can just put it on and throw it away much easier rather than scrubbing it and using a lot of water. Both has its pros and cons. Um, the next thing, obviously some chocolates, which I really do love probably have to pace myself when I'm eating them. And then the next thing I got is from a friend and it is this pug mug in like a holiday sweater. It's so cute. I love pugs and I'm such a dog person, although now I am starting to really like cats just because I'm on a maintenance level, but pugs will always have my heart and it is so cute. It has this little sweater, so I'm definitely gonna take it out during the holidays for display and all that. And in addition to the mug, I also have these little dog socks with polka dots and it is so cute. I can't wait to start wearing these. Um, I think the heel is on like the back, so when you're wearing them, it's like you'll see the dog on the front. And if you guys did watch my Vlogmas kind of three episodes, you guys will have seen these items already. And I got this robe, kind of like a purpley, color which is nice to go with everything that i have that's already pink and purple um i got this hot water bottle container with eye mask this is perfect for you know those cramps and those kind of days where you just don't feel like doing anything 
And then I also got um, an ornament from the same friend, which is an ornament on top of the tree and it's a pineapple. If you guys did watch those vlogs, I will put um, the snippets in here anyway so that you guys know what I'm talking about. And then I also did get a ton of ornaments from another friend, but I've already put it on the tree, so it came in this box, but I'll show you guys what it looks like um, from the other cliff. So that's pretty much it, and I'm gonna jump into what I got myself from the Sephora Black Friday sale and the, I think, Boxing Day sale. So the first thing that I got from the Sephora sale is this Herbivore Moment of Clarity set. Um, my coworker and I have been talking about this brand for a while now. I've never heard of it or used anything by them, but she has always wanted to. So I ended up getting this to try out for myself. It happened to be on sale and I used another coupon on top of that. So obviously I had to. Um, this one is the Herbivore Blue Tansy Re Resurfacing Clarity Mask. Then I have the Lapis Facial Oil. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing any of these correct. And then the Bacuchiol. I have no idea. Retinol Alternative Soothing Serum. I am probably butchering them. I have never seen or used these type of products again. The next thing that I got from Sephora um, to kind of make shipping, I think, or VIB Rouge again, is this charcoal mask. So. Nothing super crazy, but I just wanted to get a mask to throw in. And then this one I've been wanting to try for a long time. Um, my friend Wendy got it, so I wanted to try it as well. This is the Jack Black Moisture Therapy Lip Balm SPF 25. If you guys have used any of the products that I'm talking about, let me know what you guys think. I would love to know. And I got this one in the mint um, flavor and scent. Next, I got the Sephora Makeup Match Concealer Brush. I haven't bought any brushes in so long because I always stick to the ones I always have and just make do with them. But this one was on sale and I don't have much um, brushes for concealer since I don't normally wear concealer. Like right now, I only have my brows and eyelashes on. So I wanted to get this and just have something strictly for concealer, especially um, the ones that I got from Merit's. I thought a brush might be better than dabbing with my fingers or sharing brushes. I also do like how this is kind of pink. It's a little bit more nude on camera, but it is a very, very light mauve pink and the size of this as well. The next thing I got is the head massager. This one was like when the Sephora stuff was all 30% off. So I got this one and I want to try out. I thought it would help kind of massage my scalp and kind of bring in all the shampoo. The next item is this mask that I have never tried and it's um, an instant detox mask. I've never tried anything from this brand or any detox masks in particular. So I'm excited to try this. I saw very good reviews on this and I'll let you guys know if any of these things start to become like a reoccurring staple in my um, what is it called? Skincare routine. Uh, next, I decided to try this Tartiest Pro eyeliner. I typically use um, Sephora brand and this other one that is all out of stock. So I wanted to try this one and I believe this one is clear and will dry clear as well. Next, I stocked up on two Stila eyeliners. This is the one I always use. So because they had that sale, I just figured this is a time to stock up on everything that I use. And speaking of stocking up, you guys will probably think I'm crazy or I hope there are some of you guys out there that will do the same as me, but I really stocked up on lashes. Like, this is it, I'm holding all of them, but do I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pairs of lashes? Probably not, but they were probably more than, I wanna say more than 40% off at least at a given time. I know some of them were 30% off because of that Sephora sale, but then the other times these ones were like $18 and these originally cost $38 or 36. So that was basically half price and I typically never see it that low. Um, so I bought two more when it was 50% um, off and then the rest I just stocked up. It was still a really good um, deal. I honestly always wear these lashes. If you guys do watch my videos, I always talk about them no matter what. It just seems to fit my almond-shaped eyes and I'm just totally used to the look that it gives me and I am wearing 
one right now. This is an old pair and I'm not wearing any eyeshadow, so this is what it will naturally look like. Anyways, the next thing I got, oh, I forgot to mention, I got two of these um, eyelash glues anyways, since it was also on sale. And the next thing that I got is this Sephora kind of discovery set. Um, I always use the vitamin C one. If you guys did watch my other videos, the other two, the pores serum and the targeted dark spot serum I have never used. So that's also why I want to get this little pack and let me open them to see what size they are. I always think that these ones are super small, but the size is not bad at all for something that is originally $40 with 30% off. This size you can definitely use for quite a while. Although I use the vitamin C almost every day and that finishes really quickly, I still think that this is a good deal. So um, I'm probably gonna get started on using this in my everyday routine. And I'll let you guys know as well if any of these speak to me, but for sure the vitamin C one, I always recommend this to any of my friends that talk about skincare with me. And the last thing I believe out of all of this Sephora haul is this that I redeemed with points. And I think this is similar to one of the things that I actually got from the herbivore um, bundle. It's the Bakuchiol um, one. So I'm probably gonna um, use the bigger ones and kind of keep this for when I do go out like sleepovers or anywhere else that I just need something more travel sized. So this wraps up my what I got for Christmas and a Sephora haul. I hope you guys did enjoy. If there's anything you guys want me to talk about further in depth, like the jacket or anything that I got from Sephora, please let me know in the comments and I can reply or definitely do a video about it as well. And again, I thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video.